One thing I've enjoyed in Montreal is urban sketching. It's a great way to be outside and meet fellow sketchers. I'm going to show you how to draw a building. It's not as hard as you think. Enjoy. Let's draw this cottage in the cove. Start with the obvious shapes. So the picture on the left, we've got a large rectangle. And then the picture on the right, you can see the rectangle, you can see the squ a square, you can see two triangles. The easiest way to draw a building is face on. So first, you're going to line up your pencil with the left side of the building and then you're going to tip the pencil down to find the measurement for how wide the building is. In this case, the building is three pencils wide. Now we transfer that to our page and we get our rectangle. Draw the center line and then measure the height of the roof with your pencil and then draw the triangle. Now you know the basics to start. I'm going to do the drawing in my sketchbook and you can just follow along. Now that we've got the basic shapes in place, we can start adding some of the features, like the entrance way. Hold up your pencil to get the right angles and then transfer that angle to your page. Use your pencil to do some measurements. Here I'm doing it for the door. You can do it for the window, and you can do it for other features. Break down larger shapes into smaller and smaller shapes. A vanishing point is where all the lines converge. So hold your pencil straight out at eye level and that's your vanishing point. Use the vanishing point to draw the angles on the siding. Hold up your pencil and get the right angle and transfer it to your page. Start to add more details. You can use different lines to suggest texture, like I have for the roof tiling. I'm using the vanishing point here to find this angle. Roughly suggest some of the plants in the background. They don't have to be accurate. And here is the finished sketch. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be believable. Urban sketching heightens your senses and makes your experiences more memorable. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to see what you draw.